हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अनीश एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन रेसिप्रोसिटी थियोरम ओके सो वट दिस क्वेश्चन इज टेलिंग असिस गिवन द नेटवर्क इज प्योरली रेजिस्टेड राइट देन फाइंड द करेंट आई इन द फिगर बी ओके सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस करेंट आई इन द फिगर बी इफ दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज गिवन टू अस एंड ऑल्सो वन थिंग इज मैंशन दैट द नेटवर्क इज प्योरली रेजिस्टिव नाउ वन थिंग टू नोट इज दैट वन ए नेटवर्क इज प्योरली रेजिस्टिव राइट सो इट विल द नेटवर्क विल बी रेसिप्रोकल ओके बाई रेसिप्रोकल आई मीन लाइक दिस स्टेटमेंट राइट सो लेट एस रीड दिस स्टेटमेंट द रेसिप्रोसिटी थियोरम स्टेट दैट इन एनी लीनियर बायोलैटरल पैसिव आर्बिटरी नेटवर्क द रेशियो ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सेज टू द एक्साइटेशन रिमेन्स अनचेंज इवन दो द पोजिशन ऑफ द लाइक सोर्सेज द एक्साइटेशन आर इंटरचेंज राइट सो वट डज दिस मीन बेसिकली वी हैव वन वोल्टेज सोर्स हेयर वी आर एक्साइटिंग दिस सोर्स इन दिस नेटवर्क राइट दिस इज नेटवर्क ओके एंड दिस नेटवर्क इज रेसिप्रोकल ओके एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो द सेम नेटवर्क राइट नाउ इफ यू एक्साइट दिस लाइक नेटवर्क विद दिस वोल्टेज सोर्स द करेंट वी गेट एट द आउटपुट इज आई वन दिस इज अ शॉर्ट सर्किट करेंट ओके नाउ फॉर द सेम नेटवर्क इफ यू इंटरचेंज द लाइक एक्साइटेशन राइट इफ यू एक्साइट द नेटवर्क एट दिस एंड ओके एट दिस टर्मिनल्स देन वील गेट आई टू ओके विथ अ डिफरेंट एक्साइटेशन बट द रेशियो विल रिमेन सेन बाई रेशियो वट डू आई मीन बेसिकली दिस रेशियो ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्स एंड एक्साइटेशन राइट विल बी सेम सो दिस आई वन अपॉन वी वन विल बी इक्वल्स टू आई टू अपॉन वी टू सो दिस थिंग विल यूज इन इन फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन ओके सो फर्स्ट वट डू वी नीड टू ऑब्जर्व सो वट डू टू ऑब्जर्व इज बेसिकली टेक लेट मी टेक दिस टू सर्किट राइट सो इफ आई टेक दिस टू सर्किट्स वट डू आई नीड टू ऑब्जर्व इज लाइक लेट मी नेम दिस टर्मिनल्स ए B, C, D. So what is this terminal? This terminal is also same, right? A, B, C, and D. Okay, A, B, C, D. Now, what uh, I want you to think is, what is the impedance, input impedance seen from here, right? Z, A, B. And like, what is the input impedance seen from here, Z, A, B? Like are they different or same? Like I'm talking about the uh, equivalent Thevenin uh, um, raise uh, impedance, right? The equivalent Thevenin impedance are they same or different? So what is the definition of uh, Thevenin impedance? It is basically impedance between these two points and all the remaining independent sources should be made zero. Okay. So these sources, this source should be made zero. So what will this network get converted into? now if i copy this if, like this network will get only converted into we have this network and we are finding this equivalent impedance zdb from here this is sorted right and this is a network and this is a and b terminals like obviously don't get doubt in your mind that like we will short this 20 volt also we short this 20 volt also no we are taking taking the input, input impedance after this right after this so don't don't think all this okay so what now we will see we will see one thing that this equivalent impedance and this equivalent impedance become uh, same right because independent sources we are making them zero right uh, let me write this making independent sources equals to zero now this is same so what is the zdb in this first case let me like uh, differentiate this zdb dash and zdb double dash but but these are same so what is a zdb in the first case so first case we are seeing that if we apply a voltage and we get a current right so what is it telling simply that's how we calculate the equivalent resistance right so it is a ratio of 20 by 10 it is 2 ohms right it is 2 ohms so Uh, like uh, what is the zdb in this case zdb in this case is also 2 ohms right because it will be equal to z dash ab which is equals to 2 ohms okay because both of these uh, are equivalent of each other okay so this is one thing we found the zdb from here now what we need to do is find the uh, another thing so let me take this circuit again let me copy this circuit again let me focus on this on the circuit right now one thing is that if i change this network a bit right if i change this network a bit 
I remove this forum because this forum is the main uh, problem source for us, right? I don't know like uh, this uh, the reciprocal of this circuit was just simply apply voltage source here and this should short it, right? Then I will be able to find the current. But this is this has forum, so I won't be able to find the current now. So what I need to do is basically like uh, I want to make it simpler. So I will re remove the forum for now. Okay. So removing the forum for now and making this short. So in this case, I can easily find the current by using uh, reciprocity theorem. Okay. So removing that okay so this is the 40 40 volts source and what is the current in this time so everything is just replaced and uh, like uh, as it follows like principle of homogeneity so it will get multiplied right so in this case it was 20 volt source we get 10 10 amps and 4 amps here so again doing that same equation so we have 10 amps we got 20 volt so here what is the i will get for 40 right so will get i equals to 40 divided to 20 amps okay so we have 20 amps so i will be equals to 20 amps here okay and sorry not this side not this side actually it was the uh, input current right it was the input current sorry so this is like a, let me name this as i dash okay i dash so i dash i dash is 20 uh, amps and what is the i what is i i also we, we have the same same formula again so i uh i by 40 equals to this 4 by 20 right so 1 by 5 so i equals to it basically it becomes a double right basically it becomes double so uh here it is 8 amps so one thing we know like if you want to uh, know one thing that we are finding the current i when these terminals are shorted right when these terminals are shorted and what is the equivalent impedance from here equivalent impedance from here is uh, AB terms right equivalent impedance from here is 2 ohms okay now we know the RTH from this end and we know the short, short circuit current across this terminals right this is ISC ISC AB equals to 8 ohms right so we know the short circuit current through ab we know the uh, like uh, re, like rth through ab so now we can simply replace the circuit to a norton equivalent circuit right so replacing the circuit to a norton equivalent circuit so we have like this is the rth of uh, two ohms and this is the isc right isc what is the isc isc equals to 8 8 amps right 8 amps and these are the terminals a and b okay now we will uh, put the load okay put the load of 4 amps 4 ohms right 4 ohms okay 4 ohms this 4 ohms okay so that's how we we'll solve this question okay so we have to use both uh, theorems here like the norton's theorem and the reciprocity theorem so now let me put this forums here right so now we will find the current current i that was actually asked in our question i so what is i i is simply equals to isc times 2 divided by 6 okay so equals to 8 times 1 by 3 so it is 8 by 3 amps okay so it is basically 2.67 amps okay so this is the like answer for isc okay so this is basically the uh, first method so this is basically the first method reciprocity theorem okay so from here we, we can see that we, we are getting the like a uh, current okay so next what method we will use we will simply use we will simply use uh, that the network we can replace it with a resistive network right because the question has itself told us that it is a resistive network so replace network with now this may uh, like all not always uh, like work so just be careful with this uh, method right and also you can use this in gate if nothing is coming into my mind like you can use this in gate right so what we will do we'll like 
first uh, draw the network for the first case when all the information is given to us so what is the first case so let me take the network here so this is the like uh, network right so how how will i replace the block replace the block so basically we are, we are giving a 20 volt source here excitation okay and this is 10 amps ohm current okay so the equivalent resistance overall of the network should be uh, two uh, two ohms right two ohms now also the short circuit current is four amps here short circuit current is four amps so like whatever comes into my mind my in my mind i, I think of a pi model okay so if i think of a pi like something like pi model let me put this register here let me put this register here and so let me put this ratio here. So, so i am making this network totally symmetrical to like for my ease of my calculation okay so here what it is telling us is that there is some short circuit current here so the short circuit current is 4 amps so this 20 by this uh, r1 right i am making this both of them same uh, 20 by uh, 2 r1 should be equals to 4 because no current is flowing through here no current is flowing through here it's short circuit so whole current flows through here or here only if apply cable we, we find okay so 20 by 2 r1 equals to 4 so what is r1 equals to r1 equals to uh, 10 by 10 by 4 so it is equals to 2.5 ohms okay so it is equals to 2.5 ohms now this is 4 amps right this is 4 amps and this is 6 amps and what is the voltage across this the voltage across this is 20 so 20 by uh, 20 by uh, this resistance R2, right? 20 by this resistance R2, this is also the same, should be 20 by R2 should be equals to uh, this current rate 6 amps. So R2 equals to 10 by 3, which is equals to 3.33, right? So it is uh, 10 by 3. I am not writing it here, I, I am constrained of space. So this is equals to 3.3. Now, like I have assumed this network to be symmetrical, okay. So like this should should work for symmetrical networks also. It's that the question has asked. So now what I will do, I will simply change the condition, right? I will simply change the condition. I found the uh, like uh, like network modeling of the network, so I will change the condition. So what I will do, I will take this and I will simply replace this uh, second case, right, with with the network itself. So let me replace the network. So this was. 10 by 3 this was 2.5 ohms okay this was 10 by 3 this was 2.5 ohms okay and we're wh what we're doing we're applying a 40 volt voltage here, right 40 volt voltage here. and here is some load resistance of forms so to find the current through this end right find the current through this end what like what um, procedure we can do simply use the uh, like uh, thevenin's theorem or what we can do is uh, just simply calculate the equivalent resistance then uh, like uh, find the uh, current through this okay so what uh, i will do is find the uh, like thevenin's theorem okay or you can replace this whole network with a resistive network okay then find the current at this end then uh, you find the current at this end, then you do current division between these two races, right? That you can do. But I will use Thevenin's theorem. Okay, that will be much more easier for me. So let me take this network. What is the ZAB from here or RAB from here? So finding the RAB from here, like uh, or RTS, you can say. So I'm doing the same thing only, right? I'm doing the same thing only, just like the previous case. Just the difference is you can follow the uh, like second method that I told. Find the current through this, then current through this then divide it to this two okay so that will be a bit bit lengthier approach so for uh, rth we'll short this right we'll short this what is the equivalent resistance basically equals to 10 by 3 which we already found out right in the uh, without seeing the network like without seeing the inside of the network we already found through the first method right this is 2.5 this is 10 by 3 and we're finding the RAB from here that is it so 
वॉट इज आर्ट इज आर्ट इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव टाइम्स टेन बाई थ्री डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई थ्री ओके सो दिस थ्री कैंसिल इज आउट सो फिफ्टी विच इज टू ऑम्स विच विच इज एक्सपेक्टेड राइट विच वी फाउंड आउट इन द फर्स्ट मेथड ओके सो आर टी एच इज दिस नाउ वॉट इज वी टी एच राइट लेट मी ब्रिंग इन दैक वट इज वी वी ओपन सर्किट ओपन सर्किट वोल्टेज वट इज वी ओपन सर्किट वोल्टेज सो बेसिकली दिस इज ओपन सर्किट राइट नाउ वट इज दिस पोटेंशियल दिस इज फोर्टी वोल्स ओके सो लेट मी राइट द like cable at this loop right cable at this loop so this what is this current through this resistor this current so this is basically the voltage across it voc right so the current through this is if i can write it i don't have space enough so current through this uh, let me shift this in the bottom this is voc by 10 by 3 right so whatever current is flowing through here is flowing through here also okay and it's going back and flowing through here also so because this is this has zero current this has zero current right this is open circuit so simply this is a voltage divider right simply this is a voltage divider so i can simply divide the voltage of 40 volts across these three resistances okay they are connected in series okay so what is voc equals to 40 times 10 by 3 divided by 5 plus uh, this 10 by 3 right so multiplying 3 on both uh, numerator and uh, denominator so we get 5 by 25 so this is 5 2 this is 8 and voc to be 16 volts okay now simply uh, like replacing this circuit right with voc and like its equivalent resistance we can find the current okay so replacing the circuit with voc VOC is what? VTH equals to 16, 16 volts. Right? 16 volts. And what is the uh, like RTH is two? And what is the load, right? What is the load? So the load is four ohms, right? Load is four ohms. So now we can find the current through this. Now we can find the current. So what is I equals to I equals to sixteen divided by two plus four, which is sixteen divided by six, which is eight divided by three amps. So we get the same re result. That is two point six seven amps. Okay. So the answer will be two point six seven amps. So that's how we can like uh, solve this question. Okay. So if you like this video, please do hit the like button. Thank you for watching.